Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I just wanted to show you uh, two devices that I have jailbroken and uh, done a iCloud bypass on. So the jailbreak I used was CheckRain, which is for the uh, iPhone 5S to the iPhone 10, and um, it runs on iOS 12.3 and above, I believe. So uh, one interesting thing here um, is that some things do not work. So some things will not work on these phones. Um, I don't know if they'll be fixed or, or not necessarily fixed or if they will uh, start to work eventually or if there'll be a, you know, a way to get them to work. But uh, as far as I know, cellular does not work. So you cannot use cellular data and you cannot use um, the phone part. So it's unfortunate, but uh, that's one thing that does not work. It does, however, work on Wi-Fi just fine. Uh, another thing you'll notice is that Siri. Sorry, sorry. Could you, say, Could that you again? say that again? Siri also does not work. So, not that I really care that much about Siri, but if you do use Siri, that kind of stinks. Um, you're not going to be able to use that. Another thing that does not work is you cannot take screenshots at all. <laughs> However, one thing you are able to do is uh, you are able to take screen recordings. And so just to show you that, I'll take a quick screen recording here. Now this phone has a lot of problems and I'll explain that in just a moment here, but there you go. So screenshots don't work, but you can take screen recordings, which is great. So you have some method of doing, you know, some method of taking uh, shots of your screen. Um, one thing I thought did not work was I thought you could not download apps, but you can. So if you go into the app store and log in, uh, I logged in through the today view on both of these phones and, uh, it didn't really want to work at first because you could tell it was kind of, uh, stuck on downloading the app. It was doing the circles, but eventually, uh, I just closed out of the app store, went back into it and it started to work. So you are able to download apps and use them just as you would any other phone, which is great. So you can do, you know, you can use Snapchat and Facebook and all other stuff on these phones, which is amazing. I think that's great. Um, iMessage is not going to work. Other Apple services like iCloud are not going to work. Um, once you do sign in, however, you do have access to Apple TV, so Apple TV Plus, excuse me, and Apple Music, which is nice. So some Apple services do work once you log in, um, but you won't be able to use iCloud and other um, certain iCloud features. So uh, those are great. Uh, other, th other thing you can use here, now this phone is, uh, this phone has a really bad battery, so I have to just be quick with it because it literally dies in five seconds, uh, but the cameras work cameras work just fine. You can take videos and all that stuff. Um, the jailbreak will go away if you reboot the phone. So check rain will go away if you reboot the phone at all. So I have Cydia here. It's going to just crash. So same thing here. It's gone on this phone, gone on this phone, but you can reboot the phone and it's not going to relock itself. Now, one thing I did notice was I did have this check rain uh, jailbroken and I went into Cydia and I downloaded a tweak and once I downloaded this tweak it was a camera UI tweak and once I downloaded it and installed it um, it actually reactivation locked my phone <laughs> so um, basically what it did was it respringed and it went back to that uh, setup app and then once you try to go through there it um, it basically wouldn't let me go wouldn't let me go past it um, so I had to go back in check right again uh, and do the bypass again, but the good thing was it didn't lose any of my stuff. So I had downloaded a couple apps and I went back in and all the settings, everything that was there was still there. So if it does do that, if it does do it to you, your stuff should still be there. So that's one good thing. One other thing about this 6S here is it has the cellular modem problem. So if you have a problem with the cellular modem on your phone where it says no service and it says your phone requires an update to work, uh, usually you can't get past that. You can't get past that in the setup screen. It tells you, it basically just gives you the option to shut down. Um, this is great because 
even if your phone is not activation locked or not iCloud locked, you can't get through. You can't even use your phone. So this actually is really nice because it gets rid of the setup app completely and you can use that. You can still use your phone. So I thought that was pretty great. So, um, I mean, that's, so if you have that problem, like I know the iPhone seven, for instance, is a big culprit of that issue with the modem. Um, so that actually will allow you to at least use the phone on Wi-Fi, and it really doesn't affect any of the functionality. Um, so um, that's one way to use the phone if you don't have that modem or if the modem is giving you that error and you can't get past it. So um, yeah, so those are some things you can do with these. Uh, maps works. You can use GPS. Uh, you can use maps. You can listen to music. Um, AirPods work on them. I mean, it, it's fine. Like, you can do AirPods, and they'll still pop up. See? That still works. So you can still connect to Bluetooth devices. You can still use Wi-Fi. You can use apps. You can basically use this like an iPod Touch. So you're just missing some of the functionality, but really, I think it's fantastic. So if you have a device that's been locked out and you know, you can't remember your password or you can't figure out how to get through to the phone, like if you have this modem problem, um, this is a great way to use your device or still be able to use your device, even if it's not to its full, you know, full potential, but really nice. So anyway, uh, now I'll show you the tool that I used. And uh, if you want to try this for yourself, I'll leave a link to those uh, down below. So the initial method I used was um, this method by Apple Tech 752 and uh, there's also another one, a newer one that's a lot easier and that's the one I'll show you um, how you use here. But basically it, you have to jailbreak the phone with the check rain first and then you would uh, use some commands to basically SSH into the phone and remove the setup app. So um, I won't show you this tutorial but Basically, you want to get check rain first. So um, the website is check um, check rain. So check r dot i n, and then you download that there and install. And then um, you would go. He has the download for this one click bypass on his website appletech752.com in the download section, and you'll see it's called one click bypass software here. So. That's pretty nice, and I did download that. Now my computer has the uh, stupid security settings, so uh, when I go here, all right, let me find it. Yeah, so I have to go to open anyway because it was saying it was blocked. So I'm gonna open it anyway. And then I guess you gotta install it here. Now, this success is already bypassed, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to show you guys. So, I mean, it's really, really easy to do. All right, so we'll go ahead and do check rain here. So check rain, you install on your Mac, and it'll come up like this. And it'll tell you whether it's, you know, available to do it. So it's an iPhone 6S running iOS 13.2.2, connected in normal mode. And what it'll do is you'll click start here and it's gonna put it into recovery mode. Where's my mouse? Okay. It's gonna put you into recovery mode. So it says you need to be put into DFU mode to apply the jailbreak. So basically it's going to put it into recovery mode. So it says entering re recovery mode here and you'll notice the phone will reboot itself here and put itself into uh, recovery. And then once you go to this next screen here, once you click start, it's gonna give you the way to do this. So this is how to get you into DFU mode. So let me do that because I, it, let me do that real quick off camera because that's gonna take two hands. So hang on just a sec. Okay, and once you, are, once you have got it done, it'll say you've entered it successfully and then it starts to do this. So it's actually doing the jailbreak right now and it really takes no time at all. And then you'll see this verbose boot on the phone with the little check, round, check rain icon here. And it's already done. It takes literally no time at all to do this. Um, so even on the 5S, which is a little bit older, it didn't take very long either. And there you go, it's done. It's literally all done. And when you go back into the phone, you'll see the, all right. Okay. You should see the check rain. Let's see, there it is. 
There's your check ring. Now, since I had City on here before, it should start to work. If it does not, or if you do not have Cydia, you basically just go in there and it has a Cydia install option. So if it gives you problems, you hit this and it'll say, do you want to reinstall it? And you can, but mine is working, so it's fine. All right, well, let me show you the, um, now this is, this is after you jailbreak it, but if it goes to the activation lock screen, you're not going to have that yet. So let me show you this little bypass thing here. All right, so let me find the app. All right, so we got the bypass here. And it says it's a, oh, all right, I quit unexpectedly. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try that again. Hmm. Interesting. So that's not working. Okay. So we will go with the other method. So the other method all right, so the other method isn't as, uh, you know, as easy as the other because the one that he's talking about is basically a one-click thing. Um, and unfortunately, it doesn't work for me, but I will show you the way that I did it, and this is the way that I got it to work. So you download this bypass package, which is still right here, and this bypass package basically includes a couple things. You need to have um, Python installed, and uh, you have a list of commands, and this is an RTF file, and basically just tells you to paste these different things. So you have two terminal windows that come up when you do this. So what you do is in this list, you have a couple of different things here. You're gonna hit the TCP relay, and that's basically like gonna be telnetting or SSHing into the phone. So I'm gonna open it with the Python launcher here. And uh, as you can see, two windows popped up here. So we've got two windows. So basically um, on this first window, what it wants you to do is enter paste, or paste this information in. And so you're just gonna paste or copy this and then paste into the into the first one. And then you go ahead and go to the second one and then you can start working on this one. So you're gonna paste that second one here. And it tells you what to look for once you once you do this. So you're pasting that in there. Connection reset by peer. Okay, let's see, let me try that again. Okay, so it may not even work for me because it's already done, but you basically follow this all the way down until you get to this kill all, and this kill all thing basically will, um, you'll, you'll still be in the activation screen when you get to the very last one, and then once you do, it basically will go away. So I think the reason it's not working is because it's already done on this. Um, but <clears throat> I'll leave links to all this stuff down below if you wanna try any of this stuff. Um, it's not too hard, pretty simple to do. And uh, honestly, it's really nice if you have an older device that's activation locked, um, you can still use it for some stuff. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, if there are updates to this and I can get that one to work, I'll make another video on it. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.